Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video from your friends here at HyperCycle. Today, we're diving into the Advanced Node Factory Enclosure, or what we call the ANFI. We'll explore what it is, why it matters, and how it gives owners powerful tools to unlock more capabilities for their nodes. Along the way, we'll look at all the benefits for people involved in Project C8 and anyone who owns an ANFI, and explain how it supports participation and growth within the HyperCycle network. Anthony, can you start us off by explaining the basis of the HyperCycle node? Hey, Jerry, and hey, everyone. Yeah, sure. So it's like a tiny computer that handles jobs and payments directly between machines. So you've got your send task and pay, your instructions and a small payment are sent together securely. The node spins up containerized AI machines, which we call AIMS to do your job, or it finds out subtasks to other nodes and pays them instantly. You get the answer and each helper keeps its fee. Because it's peer-to-peer, -peer, there's no middleman or extra fees. Tiny tasks cost almost nothing and finish in milliseconds. If a node takes payment and doesn't deliver, its reputation score fails, so it won't get future work. That incentive keeps nodes honest. We can add extra security guarantees when needed. Interesting. So, unlike what we're used to in the crypto world with crypto networks, the hypercycle nodes aren't all doing the same repetitive job all the time. Like in the Bitcoin network, every single validator is trying to do the same thing to be able to build a block. In this case, each node can run different aims, kind of like different applications, and even run several aims at once to handle different parts of a bigger task, right? Plus, nodes can be anywhere in the world, so my level 10 Amphi here in Costa Rica might be running a totally different set of aims than the node you would be running in the UK. That's great, right? HyperCycle recently expanded onto base. Using the Anthe, we can explain what the Anthe is and what the benefits to the base expansion brings, especially for those in Project C8. Anthony, thoughts? Yeah, definitely. So the Anthe, or Advanced Node Factory Enclosure, is an ERC721 nifty box, I would call it, on base that securely holds all your node factory and AI agent licenses in one place. Anyone who owns an AMF AMFI benefits from super low fees, so actions like appointing a manager or adding licenses to your AMFI cost just pennies and settle within seconds on base. Is easy management, unlike Ethereum's ERC1155 node factories, which involve juggling multiple token types like RNS tokens. Amphis are a single ERC721 Nifty. This makes managing your assets much simpler. Like legacy node factories on Ethereum, Amphis produce new network node licenses. But Amphis go further. When they produce a new network node license, they also carry any compatible additional licenses you've loaded onto the Amphi, such as AI agents, add-ons, and more. That means each network node unlocked from your Amphi automatically gets all those extra licenses so it can run all the included software. If you're part of Project C8, you can claim any software released in the program for your eligible Amphis at no extra cost. Putting your Amphi on base gives you a low fee, ultra simple way to manage and multiply your node and software rights all in a single nifty quite a lot there in the Amphi. No, I love it. You mentioned that the Amphi produces copies of every software license it contains. So, for instance, in context of this, I have a level 10. It is going to eventually be able to create 1,024 separate note factories. You're telling me that if I am, if this is an Amphi, then every one of those 1,024 separate licenses will carry all of the licensing that I received in Project C8. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now I've also heard, I'm sorry, I've also, <laughs> let me get this in because it's part of that same question. I've also yeah. heard that these additional licenses can either make the AI running on the node smarter or help them earn more money or both. 
Can you comment on that? But also explain how the license production works. I think this is really important and how the network determines when the licenses get produced. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got those additional licenses your Amphi produces, which can make your node smarter, faster, more capable and help them learn more rewards. These licenses are produced through the tilling process, just the same as the network node licenses are. So tilling involves several key components. First, there's the uptime tilling, the familiar part where your Amphi runs on hardware and regularly sends a signal to the network showing it's active and ready to work. But tilling also includes computation and reputation. Nodes earn credit by actually doing useful work running tasks using licenses they hold and by following network rules to build a good reputation. All of these activities, so uptime, compute, reputation, are tracked and recorded using a special cryptographic system called proof of n squared work. So you have proof of work like in Bitcoin, we've got proof of n squared work because it's for each and every node. Think of it like a high-tech scoreboard that monitors how well a whole network of nodes are performing, regardless of their location, hardware, or who they're interacting with. This scoreboard calculates tilling scores, which decide when nodes can unlock new licenses and produce more nodes, growing their presence and rewards on the network. When your Amphi produces new network node licenses, and this gets to the second part you're talking about, Jerry, it also creates copies of any additional software licenses you've included, like advanced AI agents, performance enhancers, everything you put in there, it will produce 1,024. These pro additional products either increase the intelligence of your nodes, help them operate more efficiently, or enable them to earn more rewards, or sometimes all three of those things. This means ru nodes running with these additional licenses can take on more complex or valuable tasks, respond faster or get responses faster and ultimately make more money by generating greater economic value. So owning an Amphi loaded with powerful software licenses gives you a real advantage and opens up new opportunities to grow your rewards on the network. Well, I'm starting to see the justification of why an Amphi has a different price structure than the Ethereum standard node factory thank you very much i have a question how do we get tilling to work with an anthe so if you were part of project c8 meaning you set up a node factory before the snapshot 24th of may your amphi will automatically inherit the tilling score from the original node factory think of this like carrying over all your progress or score from the old system to the new one this inheritance will happen after everyone has had a chance to subscribe to HMS, so HyperPG's management service. For now, as long as the original Ethereum node factory is tilling, your Amphi score will also creep, keep increasing automatically. So it's going to get all that score from the node factory directly inherited. Now, after a certain cutoff point, when the inheritance process is complete, your Amphi will need to till on its own. This means you'll have to actively keep your Amphi running and contributing, or else you will stop gaining tilling data and your score will pause. To make this easy, you can subscribe to HMS, which will manage the tilling process for your Amphi. This way, you don't have to handle all the technical details yourself, and your Amphi will keep earning tilling credit and unlocking new licenses smoothly. Um, and I'll just add, Jerry, if you weren't part of that original snap snapshot, you purchased an Amphi now today then you can also subscribe to hms and get the amphi tilling when the hms goes live so that's suitable for everyone oh okay i get that i get that then okay let me ask you this then what about people who weren't part of c8 can they still join i mean is that also applicable yeah so as i was saying earlier if you, if you weren't before that snapshot Anyone can buy an Amphi from nodemarket.io through the official distributor, nodemint.f. And you'll know which ones are the CA eligible Amphis, because they'll have a big tick and they'll have C8 eligible Amphi. So that's nodemarket.io. Distributor is nodemint.f. 
and it's for C8 eligible land fees, which is clearly marked on the nifty image. Purchases are made using USDC on the base network and you'll need some base F to cover the gas fees. Now, if you join C8 this way, you're entitled to claim any software released under the project at no extra cost for your eligible land fees. But there is a catch. Each software release has a limited claim window. That means you can only claim the software for free while its claim window is open. If you buy a C8 eligible land fee during that window, you can get that software included at no charge. But if a window has already closed, you'd need to purchase that software separately, just like anyone who didn't participate in C8. So to get the most value, it's best to grab the land fee now whilst those wet claim windows are still open. As we know, the next one is coming is Aimifier, which is going to be most likely the first bit of software. So once Aimifier has launched, if you miss that window, you would still get the rest after, but you won't get Aimifier. That you'd have to purchase as an additional product. Well, thank you, Anthony. That was really insightful. Thank you very much. And I want to thank each and every one of you for turning in and watching. I hope you gained some insight into Amphi and Project C8 and how by establishing true and real value first, you can participate in this incredible wealth generation. Thanks, Jerry, and thank you everyone for watching. All right, I wanna make sure that we get everybody to share, like, and subscribe to this channel. And for more information on Project C8, we have published articles on our X account at Hypercycle underscore AI and medium account Hypercycle. To discover more about Hypercycle, visit hypercycle.ai. And until next time, everybody, Pura Vida.